Hey guys, Christina here from One Mama to Another and I have beside me here the Smart Start in Language Arts Curriculum. This is a language arts curriculum that is for grades one and grade two. There's two parts to it. And my boys just finished doing it, so I wanted to share kind of what we liked about it, what we didn't like about it, as well as to give you an idea of what it actually looks like. It is a complete program. That means there's the reading, the writing, comprehension, spelling, grammar, phonetics. It's all in there together. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what's inside. All right, so this is the main binder that you're going to get with the program. Inside, it has the student workbook for grade one. And then after this tab here is the student workbook for grade two. It also comes with a separate teacher's manual. There's a grade one, grade two. Now these originally came um, in binding like this one. It did not last long at all. <laughs> so we actually ended up hole punching it and putting them in binders separately. It also comes with some CDs. So I'll show some uh, pictures in a minute here of what these actually look like. But there's the I Spy alphabet photos, which you use in the beginning of grade one. And then there are a number of CDs here with the puppet shows on them. All right, so we're looking at the grade one right now. And the grade one starts off with 15 school days looking at the alphabet. So there's these alphabet cards here that you can either cut up or you can copy or then laminate. And you're gonna be using these for a while through the grade one program. Now each lesson in here, there is a corresponding teacher section here. There's six parts to each lesson. There's the reading, the sight word, printing, story, spelling, and sentence writing. And it kind of evolves. I'll show you, it's very simple in the beginning and it gets more complicated towards the end. Now, this um, curriculum here, it comes with a list of books. And in the beginning of grade one, you're reading a book every single day. And then as you get towards the end, you're reading a book every other day. So I really liked this. I liked how I had a book that corresponded with something we were learning about that I could look up at the library, that's where I got my books from, and we could practice reading them. Um, they do have some different themes going through them, which I'll show you a little later on. So, to give you an idea, the lesson. Turn here. Okay, so alphabet. Day one is the letters A and Z. I'm just gonna find that in the teacher book here. So you can see here, alphabet day one, it's upside down because I put it in the binder here. But you're gonna start off with the alphabet I spy game. So that's on that CD. And what it is, is you choose the letter that you're doing, so A and Z today. And there is a, a picture where they have to find objects that start with A and with Z. Um, and there is a list over here around showing you the, all the words that are in there and I think there's actually some extra ones here yeah so there you go A's and Z's um, and then it's telling you here too the short vowel A and how to say it properly okay. so then you're going to move on to the alphabet card game and those are the cards that I just showed you so A A Z Z and it gives you instructions what to do here. Next, number three is the story time. So the book on the first day is Curious George. Um, it says listen to the story and then discuss. And so in the section here in the teacher's book, it tells you what is the motive of the main character? How does the character try to get what he wants or needs? Who or what tries to stop him from achieving his motive? Does the character get what he wants or needs? Why or why not? Define unusual nouns and strong verbs. So this is pretty much standard throughout um, every time you're going to read a book. You're going to have the same questions and you're going to discuss the story and just help children to kind of find out their comprehension and to, to see if they have any questions and just kind of learn about the format of stories from here. So then the next part is printing instruction and letter sound practice. So the other side here, you're going to circle the letter of the day and you're going to practice writing in capital and lowercase. Then next, you have these little boxes here with different symbols. And if you go over to the teacher's book here, just turn the page, oh, it doesn't turn. Okay. It shows you here, so this was the printing. 
it shows you, so using all the letters introduced to date dictate either an upper or lowercase letter for the student to print on his paper in the boxes at the bottom of the worksheet. So it will say at the beginning, print a capital A in the box with a star on it. So in this box, they're gonna print a capital A. And then they're gonna go down further, print the capital letter which says Z as in zipper in the box with the sun. And so in the box with the sun, they're gonna put a Z there. And that's it. That is the very first lesson in the grade one. Now, we actually had the kids doing um, their work in other binders because we ended up with a double copy, long story. But um, you can tell the boys were writing on this, naughty boys. I just wanted to show you, some of his pages have fallen out, it's quite messy. But just to give you an idea, so here is day six. So these were others, F and U, day seven, G and T. So you can see here, he wrote his name, he did that, wrote the letters, and then he did these here in the boxes. You can see he's still learning how to write the letters and such. All right, so just to give you an example, so this is day 23, so then it moves on, and you're starting to get the reading. They're putting colors where they see different colors. They're drawing a picture to show comprehension. They're circling which letter do these words start with, um, and draw two other things that start with that letter. Again, my son's book is, is quite the mess. Um, some beginning spelling. Now they're spelling, they're not asking them to actually spell the word. They're asking them to find the word or to try and sound it out. Um, and parents are helping them quite a bit. I'll show you a few more pages. So his sentence here is, the red boat zoomed on the lake. So a little further on, they add in this book, which again is a mess. But basically my son is taking the words. He is um, cutting them out, gluing them on, and drawing a picture. So it says, I can see the green tree. And it looks like he lost the word tree, and so his brothers made him one, and he drew a green tree. Um, later on, it does tell them exactly what to draw. So let's see. Um, and then it goes from sentences to little short stories that he continues to just do very simple illustrations on. So I'll just skip ahead here a little bit and show you. Let's see here. So this is about halfway through the book. Let's find. Here we go. So you can see in the sight word book, which is that writing book, um, the sentence is, I can color my dog brown. Draw a picture of a brown dog. He has the letter writing practice again. The story today is Quarter from the Tooth Fairy. And uh, Tooth Fairy is one of the themes that they have through here. Um, they also have camping, dinosaurs, colors, letters, mm, winter. I think that's it between the two. There might be more. Um, Here's his spelling section, and then here's the sentence writing. And so they have the topic, they have the action words, they have a little glossary for them that they ask them to circle the words they're going to use, and then they write it out. So he wrote, storm clouds hung in the sky. And then looking here, this is day 71. So this is about three quarters of the way through. So the books are every other day now. So it says, um, just to read the paragraphs again, to practice the reading, there's the printing practice. There's the story. Today is Emmett Snowball is the book. There's the spelling section and the writing sentence. So he write, wrote this day, kids ran to the spray park. <laughs> um, and then at the end here, they have read a book from the classroom library. And so I just had my son reading a book to me each day. And then the alternate lesson, the next one, Gives you some tips on decoding, consonant blends, etc. Um, I also, I missed here that they watched the video and it says in here when to watch the video and which um, video to watch. And they go through it twice, I believe, in this one. And then here's a little story. And so it asks his, how his reading was and then answers some questions and his comprehension. This is a phonics worksheet. Um, now you can have color or outline the pictures. After a little while, my son was getting bored with the coloring and so we just skipped that, we moved on. But he's filled in the words. And then it's talking about compound words here. So you can see he has to put the words together and write them out. And then down here, they're talking about family words. So the family word, ite, flight, bright. 
And then they hear they're talking about bumper and regular words. And then here they're looking at vocabulary and matching the word to the picture. And again, reading the book from the classroom library. So that's two different lessons, two different days. The pattern kind of alternates as they get used to it. All right, so this is the very end, the last couple of lessons, just to show you how the grade one progresses. So this is the first page of the lesson. And then there is, again, the reading, the comprehension part of it. And then there is key um, keywords here. Now, one thing that bothered me about this program was that the keyword part, there's no answer in the teacher manual. Language arts is not my strong suit. And so I was kind of disappointed that, that was not in the teacher manual. So I'm not completely sure we were doing it right. One of the downsides. But then he has pictures here that correspond with the words and he has to write the words down here. Again, the compound words, writing them out, the family words. And then now they moved on to regular bumper and mouse words there in that section. So in the grade one, there are two writing assignments that are inside the books here. Um, and this just gives you an idea of kind of how they set it up. So there's an example story here. It comes with kind of a word dictionary for them to use. There's an example of a grade one story there. And then what they actually ask them to do is they have kind of it set up for them with keywords, and it's divided by sentence. So they choose the words they want to use. So he chose one day children peeked window. And then he wrote over here, one day children peeked out a window. So they're filling in a little extra words here and there. Um, and he goes through, oh, wrong way. I think they allot three days for this, to write this story. And then I had my son, um, at the end here, he actually rewrote it out all together. It just took him a couple days. So this story is all there together. Okay, so let's take a look at the grade two now. So the grade two is set up in the same way. Reading lesson, sight word book, printing, story time, spelling, and sentence writing. Just skip ahead here and show you. Now they do have over here um, a list of books, and they have this in the grade one as well, that are good for the, um, the correct reading level for the kids, for the most part. So there's lots of books that you can look up there um, if you want to add to your classroom library or you're looking to um, add books to the program. Again, it starts off here every other day with a book. This one was about dinosaurs, telling you which books you'll need. Right in here. So this is pretty much the first lesson, day two. And it starts off, there is the story here. So again, they're reading, you're checking their comprehension as you go along. There are the word keys, and then filling the words out, the compound words. So you can see how it kind of comes from the grade one and just continues right into the grade two. Regular, mouse, bumper words, more words reading from the classroom library. Then on the next day, he had the little cutout here to do to put into his book. I don't think it's here right now. It's on the shelf. Um, but it was the same kind of book. The little um, paragraphs, drawing a picture. He has the letters he needs to write. The story time. Then he had the spelling to do. And he had a sentence. So, two eggs in the nest, one peek through the egg. So he actually did two sentences there. And then again, the same format starts again. So this is lesson 50. So this is about halfway through the grade two book. So you can kind of get a feel for how it changes and how it advances. So again, the same setup. There's a story and a comprehension. You can tell though that instead of as many multiple choice, now he's starting to write more answers. They're also, going, also asking him to put the stories in the event in order to make sure he understands and comprehends what happened. Choosing the words, mouse, bumper, regular words. And then here he's filling in the words 
into the sentence and then word keys, which he didn't do. <laughs> um, and then the next day there's the sight word book. He's rereading that paragraph that's in there. And then for the grade two, they have a joke of the day, which I found um, was kind of fun just to read the different jokes. So today's is, what do you get if you cross a porcupine with a balloon? A pop. <laughs> and so they're doing the copy work here, writing that out again. There's a story. Um, oh, the section was all about knights and dragons. Then there's a spelling. And then they've added in this part here, fix the teacher's mistakes. So words that are commonly spelled or not um, spelt the way they sound or kind of you're not quite sure how to spell them and you're supposed to fix the correct spelling and then reading from the classroom library you have the sentence here so racing skaters mm, danced with joshua that's his sentence he liked to write a lot of sentences about his brother he thought it was hilarious um, and then they're introducing the punctuation and capitalization. So there's a little piece here he needs to read and figure out what needs to change. And they introduce more of that as they go along. Four stories in it that they're going to write through the year. This is the last one. This is the waiter and the cook. So again, they're given the little sight word dictionary. They're giving some examples. And then it's set up exactly the same way. That they're given words to choose from for each sentence and then they fill in the gaps. So here, he said, an alligator hurrying to work gasped as his face turned red. Um, and then he just continues on. Here, I don't have his final copy in this book at the moment, um, but here's his final copy is from. The other one was about camping, and one was about night and the dragon. I think the other one was about tooth story, if I remember correctly. So those are the writing assignments that the book goes through for grade two. All right, so this is what the puppet shows look like. I'm just gonna play it for a second here so you can kind of have an idea. Three twin boys, Josh and Jesse on the living room carpet. So there you go. Obviously I don't wanna to play too much because it is their video, um, but it gives you an idea that it is literally puppets for the puppet shows. So I'll just show you as well, they have the list here of all the um, things in each picture that start so that if you're having trouble finding them, they're all here for you to see as well. So this is the G and T. So you can see there's things like tape, measuring tape, trampoline, glove, um, globe, just a whole bunch of things kind of in there that they need to find for that day. So you can see that along with the I Spy pictures, there is actually a digital copy of the book as well. Um, it does have uh, written on it that it is for viewing and not for printing. There's the sight word bingos, the phonics concept, lotto games, as well as the game instructions on this particular CD. So overall, I really like this curriculum because it was our first year of homeschooling. I felt like it was um, really nice to have it all together, that I didn't have to worry about was I missing something, um, how do I do this, how do I explain this. Um, so it was um, really nice to have. My son who did the grade one felt it was a lot of work in the beginning um, and was a little overwhelmed by it. Um, whereas my son in second grade zip through it like it, it was too easy for him I think now by the end of it they were both actually doing two lessons a day they wanted to finish a little earlier in the year and to get through it and my younger son was handling a lot better by that time and so he chose to go ahead and do two lessons a day my other son just wanted to get done because he he liked to do it but he he didn't love it so they just went ahead and did that and that's why we finished a couple months early now couple things I didn't like about this, it's a little bit cheesy. The puppet videos are not the best. Um, good information, but kind of cringeworthy to watch at times. There was also um, a number of mistakes in the book, especially in the teacher's book, which um, was annoying, definitely. But other than that, it was a pretty good curriculum. Um, the pages do come out. The teacher book does not stay together, so just keep those in mind if you're planning to use them kind of for multiple children, um, or if you are wanting the kind of person who needs to keep things neat and tidy, it's not gonna happen, so just, just know that. Um, yeah, I think that kind of sums it up on our experience with it. 
I would definitely use this program again. I probably will for my younger children. There you go guys. I hope that that has given you a good idea and a look at what Smart Start in Language Arts actually looks like. If you have any questions, if there's anything I missed, go ahead and leave them down below and I will try and answer them for you. Don't forget to hit subscribe and give me a thumbs up on this video if you liked it. Hope you're having a great day.